I get a little confused with all the uh, euros and dollars. Uh, I, I, it's probably easier just to do it all in dollars, isn't it? So Infineon's making this $10 billion deal. Um, how has it stayed out of the consolidation so far and why is it getting active now? Exactly, Matt, you just said it. Bottom line is a big deal again, once again, a big deal in the semis industry. There has been a lot of consolidation over the past five years. I mean, uh, when you look back, we've seen so many deals. We've been writing so many stories about chip makers. And the fact is that they need to gain scale because they are finding less and less customers and they are finding it difficult to keep up with growth. So here it is, um, um, M&A Monday, as you said, Matt, and we have another big deal, cross-border Germany into the US. It's a very, very large deal. and we we were uh, able to break the news uh, over the weekend on it, so um, we had the exclusive here on Bloomberg, and it represents yet another massive premium, another way to uh, see how these deals get put together. Uh, the main question now, Matt, going forward is whether or not there will be any regulatory hurdles. We've seen in previous deals in this industry, like uh, take NXP and Qualcomm last year when it got blocked. Um, we'll see whether or not um, regulator regulators uh, will uh, create any hurdles for, for this deal to actually happen. And Manuel, another big deal we've been talking about this morning uh, is uh, in connection with the logistics space and online shopping. Blackstone's big logistics bet this morning. Why does uh, Blackstone want to do this deal? Yes, Anna, this has been another massive deal, one of the biggest deals uh, in the whole year so far, uh, and one of the biggest ever in the real estate in, uh, involving a buyout firm. And Blackstone with lots of dry powder, lots of cash to deploy, and here we have logistics, another sector that is undergoing massive consolidation. We've seen some previous deals in the past, and um, again, we are looking into an industry where you see a lot of changes in trends, uh, in this case consumption, taking the US with the likes of Amazon. I mean, people want their goods to be delivered as soon as possible, and that involves uh, companies trying to bulk up their warehouses and their storages all over the country. So this deal, while a massive um, um, premium involved again, uh, there is lots of growth opportunities ahead uh, in this particular industry. So I think that helps explain why Blackstone is so keen to uh, bulk up and grow in this space.